Hi, everyone. I'm Kieran Milne. I'm a product marketing manager with Juniper Networks. Hi, I'm Michael, the product manager for the QFX at Juniper. Thanks, Michael, for joining us and, and welcome, everyone. Uh, Michael, uh, several new data center EVP and VXLAN features coming out these days. Uh, tell us about the next one. What do you have for us today? Hey, Kieran, we have another uh, feature uh, available uh, starting Junos 20.4 for QFX 5K, so, uh, dedicated to the EVP and VXLAN fabrics. And that feature is called filter-based forwarding. So what the feature does is that it brings uh, the application awareness at the top of the rack switch level, right? So uh, we have an opportunity here to uh, steer the traffic uh, accordingly based on what's the source or uh, destination TCP port can be for a specific application. So imagine a situation, Kieran, that you have a couple of servers deployed uh, within the same subnet and each of the server uh, originates different uh, type of uh, uh, traffic characteristics. So in some cases, you may need a, a tool at the top of the rack uh, switch level, which allows you to steer that traffic to specific uh, uh, outgoing uh, node, right? So with filter-based forwarding, you can put in place a specific uh, rules at the firewall filter level, which will steer the traffic uh, to specific outgoing uh, uh, firewall cluster, for example. So here on the example, we have uh, three apps deployed uh, within the same subnet. And uh, each of these apps generate a different type of uh, traffic, right? A different uh, source, the uh, DEST, TCP. And uh, as an admin, you may be tempted to actually uh, put more control into the, these flows, right? So for example, imagine a situation that uh, the uh, app one generates an elephant traffic. And so for the control of that traffic at the L4.7 level, you may need to steer the traffic to specific firewall cluster, which is a robust one, where you have a lot of resources to, uh, to analyze that traffic. So with that feature, filter-based forwarding, you can simply say hey, that traffic originated at the app one level will go to the firewall cluster one or cluster A, and then for the other app deployed in the same subnet, you can say, OK, for that application, I, I will just send it to the firewall cluster B because uh, it's not generating that much of the traffic. It can, it can still go through my legacy firewall clusters. And then you have another example where we have application three, which we trust. We know that it's secure. And uh, on the other hand, we know also that it generates a lot of traffic. So because we trust it, we may decide to just send it directly to the core IP as a destination. So comparing to the legacy approach uh, where we, we, we could steer the traffic to, uh, for example, a, a firewall cluster or just uh, send it directly to the core, here we have that application awareness at the top of the rack switch level based on source desk TCPs to source desk IPs, right? So a good tool for the admin to uh, control what's going on purely at the axis of the server level, right? That's great. Thanks for taking us through it. It sounds like just kind of injecting more intelligence into the data center, yeah. right? Precisely. So uh, we don't want to keep the top of the rack just as a dump for worders, right? With that feature, you, you get an additional tool set uh, where actually you can uh, control what goes to the firewall, what's not going to the firewall, and you get it actually uh, for free on our 5120s uh, uh, running Junos 20.4. Terrific. Thanks for taking that. So we're coming to the end here. Just, you know, what are the key takeaways? What should folks keep in mind here? Yeah, so from the key takeaways uh, uh, point of view, filter-based forwarding on our EDP and VXLAN edge routed architecture gives you better load balancing tool set. And also it gives you the flow uh, and jeering capabilities, right? So you can decide at the per flow level uh, which flow goes to where exactly at the egress point. And then obviously I mentioned about that application awareness capabilities, but there is a further aspect, which is just a improved flow isolation, right? So in case I have a suspicious flow, which I would like to send for a specific period of time to the firewall, I can do it as well, right? By simply a traffic engineering that flow uh, on my uh, EVP and VXLAN fabric top of the rack switch level. Well, great. 
Thanks, Michael. Appreciate you showing us uh, this feature. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. That tends us, uh, takes us to the end of this video. Uh, be sure to check out the other videos for the other new features that have uh, come out lately. And also, if you want to dig into some more detail, be sure to check out our Q1 2021 Masterclass, where we'll take all these features and dig into even more detail uh, and, and take you uh, into all the details and, and find uh, bits and pieces of these features. So thanks everybody for watching. Again, I'm Kieran Milne. I'm Michael. And have a great day. We'll talk to you next time. Thank you, Kieran. Thanks, everybody. Bye, Michael.